Well guys, we have finally done it. We have reached a hundred subscribers. Wait, this is hey everyone, welcome back to the 100 subscribers special. That's right, we hit a hundred subscribers over a month ago. I was already pretty knees deep in the Terox video, so I decided to finish that first, but now that that stupid video is finished, I can finally make this video. And I'm not just celebrating that, because 10 years ago, I made my first YouTube channel. When I was 10 years old. And that channel was called... Patrick started. I was 10, okay? I uploaded on that channel from about 2014 to mid-2016, and I uploaded basically what you'd expect from a 10 to 12 year old. <laughs> By the time I finished uploading on the channel, I had like, just under 200 subscribers, and nowadays the channel has 700 subscribers. Oh my god. I should probably mention that the videos are now completely gone from the channel. In fact, it's named something else now. Oh my god, my original bio is still on here. <laughs> hey guys, it is Patrick Stardude here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My videos are always different, from Minecraft to Monster Jam sign-up series to stop-motion videos, which takes the longest. Check out my other- it, oh my god. Okay, so, <laughs> I had a second channel too called Animal Translator for a period. I uploaded one video on it and never uploaded on it again. <laughs> Main characters like Patrick, Spongebob, Coward, Plankton, Piggy, Perry, and Squidward can be seen in most video- oh my god. I was 10. I was 10. So I figured since we hit 100 subscribers, and this is the 10th anniversary of this YouTube channel, why don't I react to some of these videos again? I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? I guess I should probably start off with talking about one of the main components of the channel, which was the sign-up series. Which was essentially something where people would race a bunch of these Hot Wheels monster trucks in a tournament-style thing, and what was cool about it was that commenters could pick a truck in the comments, and you'd actually race them. It, it, it was cool at the time, okay? <laughs> there was actually an entire community built around it too, which was kind of interesting. There really isn't much to talk about these videos, I made about eight of them, and I specifically remember that the truck that kept winning the most of them was a truck called Tasmanian Devil. I have it somewhere, I try to look for it, but it's probably in a moving box somewhere. <laughs> Those videos were always fun to make though, and I think people are still making them to this day, which is kind of insane to me, <laughs> but Good for them. From there, I thought I'd talk about the first video I put up on the channel, which was called Q&A Yay. I should probably start by stating that this video was taken from my friend <laughs> at the time, and it's essentially a fake Q&A where... Oh my god. <laughs> it was essentially a fake Q&A where I'd ask myself some questions and all the answers would be mixed. It was dumb. I'll, I'll just say it now. Let's let's watch it. <laughs> God. Q and A. Yay! Okay. First question: Who was the first president of the United States? Why does my voice sound so muffled? <laughs> um. SpongeBob. Um. No. What mammal lays eggs? Um. Hmm. Washington. What the heck, man? Yeah, it, it wasn't a very good video. <laughs> I think that's plain to see. Alright, the next series of videos I want to talk about was something I called Patrick Randomness Party. I just took a bunch of my SpongeBob plushies that I had and had them make the most random things possible because, you know, random equals funny. Alright, let's give it a watch. This is this is the first one I did. I did three of them. <laughs> Why, why am I showing people this? This is SpongeBob SquarePants with his life. One day. I should probably also mention that most of my early videos were filmed with my iPad, and the case I had on it. I don't know what it was about it, it's just every time I tried to film something, it would just create crackles and crackles, and it sounded horrible. I was young, but I don't know how I was okay with this. I'm gonna jump on you! No, please don't! Go. One, two... Yeah, I made them ah. wrestle. <laughs> no, please don't! Ah. Ah. 
I also filmed this while my family was in the living room too, so just imagine them just sitting there watching TV while I threw my plushies down the stairs. Thank you for watching our randomness video. Now it's SpongeBob's time to sing. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Bad drag! Okay, that's... That's the end of part one. Another fun fact about this video is the ending scene. My cousins came over and I forced my probably like 15 or 16 year old cousin to watch me film. Oh my god. <sighs> I was a child. <laughs> Alright, up next I have a video called PSW Announcement. Let's watch this. Who wants a new, new series? <laughs> What a wonderful intro. <laughs> oh yeah, this drawing was made by the same person who I stole the Q&A video from, and I I used it for my intro for a while, I think. Well guys, the time has came once again. <laughs> so guys, the time has came once again. Time for a brand new series. Funniest, ti funniest Times 10 has been cancelled completely, and we are not going to be doing that at all. Oh! Oh my god. Dude, this is unlocking like a Trevor Trove Trevor Trove? A treasure trove of memories for me. I think the the funniness times ten thing that I was talking about was supposed to be like a comedy series I was supposed to make and then I never made it. <laughs> you will notice a pattern here. <laughs> it's time for a new series. The PSW. Figure out figure out what it means. Bye. Are you serious? All I said was, new series called PSW, figure out what it means. So since 10-year-old um, Nick didn't tell you what PSW meant, it was supposed to stand for Patrick Stardude Wrestling, where it'd have the same plushies wrestle each other. Can you guess how many episodes of the show I made? I didn't make a single one. <laughs> However, I did make one video that was kind of similar in concept called Plankton vs. Spongebob. Oh god. You can tell I wasn't thinking about audio when I, when I made this. No, boy, his dog, no. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my god, the audio is so bad. <laughs> okay, if you want me to stop fighting you, you have to guess which one the Okay, just done. three random popcorn Ooh, cups. What am I doing? <laughs> To filming like probably my computer. Oh my. <laughs> and um, fun fact I did a little bit of digging last night and I saw both of them. <laughs> he also has the little thread that was in the video too. That's funny. Okay, the next series I want to talk about was called the Patrick Stardude Games. I made this series while I was waiting to move from Ohio to Florida, and um, most of my stuff was packed away, all of my Hot Wheels trucks, so I was bored, and all I had were my plushies. Alright, let's watch the first part. Gave the baby Patrick a voice. Oh my god. In today's course, you will jump down from here, fall all the way down, jump on these jumping pads, and see how far you. And and yes, I had a car bed too. <laughs> ah! Good camera work for me. I'll, I'll give my probably eleven year old self that. Go. Alright, I am now going to end this video off with the only concept that I'm really still proud of to this day, which were stop-motion LEGO Spongebob videos. Yes, more Spongebob, okay? It, it's in the name of the channel. I started these on my second year on the channel, and the first couple ones were kind of crude. They weren't very well put together at all, like most of my videos. In fact, the most viewed video that was on the channel was a recreation of the Spongebob intro, which is kind of interesting. It got like 30,000 views. However, after I moved, I actually stepped up my production quality quality a little bit, and they're actually pretty good.
good, surprisingly. I figured we could end with watching one of these since there's so many of them, and this one is called The Unfateful Fate. <laughs> Let's give it a watch. Alright, here we go. Oh god, it's loud. <laughs> but yeah, I made these intros in like a like a Minecraft stop motion app. I made the rest of the videos in something called YouTube Capture, which was an app that YouTube had, I don't think it's available anymore, where you could record something and then splice clips together. You can do anything else other than that, but yeah. What is it, me boy? We're all out of Krabby Patty meat. Oh, that's just great. Hi, everybody. Patrick, we're in the middle of a crisis right now. Oh no, a crisis! What's a crisis? <laughs> I know where the ingredient comes from. But how do you get there, Mr. Krabs? Well, it's pretty easy to remember, me boy. Yes, yes, tell me now! Ha 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 ha! Oh! Did I just step on something? <laughs> What's the response? Then let's go! <laughs> Oh, yeah. So so when I made this video, I made a video beforehand, which was like a sneak peek to it, and for, I guess I lost the footage to it, so I just took my phone and recorded <laughs> like this. It looks horrible. We finally made it! Yay! I need that secret formula. Plankton, you'll never get it from us. Hey, look over there, there's a giant rainbow. Really? Hey, there's no rainbow... Oh, fart nuggets. We. <sighs> SpongeBob, how are we supposed to catch up with Plankton? Oh my god, this, this aggravates me more than anything. You know, I set up everything, I put it up the platform, I make everything look clean, and then the background is just littered with shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, SpongeBob! I forgot to tell you something. I brought my rock with me. Yeah, notice how the rock disappeared from the background. <laughs> oh my god, I did it again. Really? <laughs> we did it! Now let's head home, Patrick. The end! And I would end every single one of these, these stop motion videos with the end! <laughs> and I think that's a good note to end things on. That was my first YouTube channel, Patrick Sardew. Still can't believe I chose that name. <laughs> One thing that I did want to add in is that while I did cringe at most of these videos, I still have a lot of love and respect for them still. Looking back at these videos a couple years ago was one of the main contributing factors to make me want to make content again because, yeah, the, my videos back then were just me goofing around, but it reminded me how much fun I had making videos and how fulfilling it was at the end of the day. Plus, I really do admire how I was able to just turn on the camera and make a video on the fly. I, I could never do that nowadays. <laughs> so with that, thank you all once again for 100 subscribers, now 118 as I'm recording this. 100 may not be a huge number, but thinking that over 100 people, most of whom I don't know, liked my videos enough to subscribe, that that's a really cool feeling. It, it honestly is. I am hoping, of course, this will be one of many stepping stones, but we still have a long way to go. So here's to another 100, and for those anticipating it, Terrorhawks Part 2 is on the way. And so with that, thank you all for watching, and take care. I just noticed, Plankton kind of thick though.